Alright, welcome back to Lucy, the eternity she wished for. I like saying that. Did you not like saying that? I like saying that. It's always like, it's always, it's a really good title. Alright, so this is where I last stopped. And let's go. I unlocked the front door and entered the house. This is my house. There's people in my house. Okay. There's a party in my house. Okay. Unlike usual, I could sense someone's presence inside. I think it's more than one person. I can hear a couple of voices coming from the television inside the living room. My father appears to have returned home early. It makes me feel uneasy. Ooh, am I gonna see my own father now? I effortlessly remove my shoes only using my feet. Come to think of it, I was always home alone. It's been this way since I'd grown old enough to take care of myself. Before that, we used to have a housekeeper watching over the place. However, that was only until I began middle school. From then on, I was always by myself. I would eat breakfast alone. I would eat dinner alone. Just shut up. <laughs> it's a, what's a freaking... Okay, never mind. The cycle will repeat endlessly. I feel like the mood is supposed to be, like, you know, in a more serious way. And then you hear, like, the amount of people just laughing at you for thinking that you're alone. I, I, I don't know. I don't even remember the last time all of us ate Shut up! Jesus, that's getting annoying. All of us ate dinner together as a family. There's no such thing as a home-cooked meal in this household. I've eaten so many different kinds of instant foods in my life that I've come to memorize every product of every brand. My father puts his work before family. And my new mother follows my father everywhere to support him while practically ignoring me. Wow, that's a really bad- <laughs> That was a really bad laugh cue! That is my family. At this point, it feels out of place to see someone actually at home. My father is on the couch, watching television. Oh, hi there. You're back. I need, I need to do some good, uh, fatherly tone voices. Is this good enough? You're back, says father. You know, he doesn't even have a name, apparently. He doesn't run, he doesn't even turn around and face me. Wow, what a dick. It implies that he's not in a good mood. Yes, father. You're very late. I checked the time. It wasn't actually that late. There are times when I'd be back much later. I wonder if this man even knows how old I am. Where have you been wandering around for so long? Don't you know that you'll be in college soon? I don't bother replying. Says so the guy who never paid any attention to me. I think to myself, I don't get along too well with my father. Our relationship compares badly with other families, but that's to be expected. We've never spent much quality time together, going to the zoo or playing soccer together. I don't have any of those fond memories that other kids my age probably have. My earliest mo memories are my father's stern face, so it would be even more bizarre if we actually got along. As I stand there in silence, the old man launches his next attack. Are you not listening to me? Ugh. I, I really can't do that voice today for some reason. My voice is not good enough. I just woke up, I slept at like a four, I only had like two hours of sleep for some reason. Ugh. He doesn't he still doesn't bother looking at me. I've gotten used to minding my own business. We keep our own we keep to our own devices. To solve any conflicts within a family, you would normally need to sit down together and talk about it. My father doesn't think there's any need for that. He thinks it's he thinks everything is fine the way it is. It'd be really painful to ask to talk face to face with that man though. I just stop somewhere on the way home. Yeah, I'll deal with all the usual exchange. As long as don't make him angry, it's good enough for me. I just need to maintain the peace between us. It's always been this way. As usual. I try my best not to rock the boat. I don't know what you kids are up to these days. But remember that students like you should be studying. I'm saying this for your sake. Well, I don't really like you. Stop hanging around with those brats you only care about having fun. You can't afford to lose sight of their main goal. Stay focused. I gotta go into my room now. Oh, fuck you, father. With that said, I try to make my escape. Our conversation would usually end about here. But Lucy who had been silent all this time, decides to whisper something to my ear. Oh, yeah. 
I hesitate whether I should tell her or not. In the end, I quickly, I quietly whisper back. Yeah. Lucy tucks my shoulders. Master, I have no choice but to grant her her wish. Maybe Lucy's voice had caught him by surprise. Because my father finally turned to face me. <laughs> Look at that fucking dis <laughs> surprised face. It's like, oh shit, son, you had that behind your back the entire time? Good to you! I'm pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure that's not the father that like, would probably say that. He was wearing a bewildered look. Who's your guest? With a wide smile, Lucy grabs onto the edges of her skirt. Then she performs a flawless courtesy that would make a princess envious. What? It's just a robot. His attitude changes completely. The sharpness in his voice penetrates every part of my body, but Lucy doesn't seem to notice. Or rather, she's pretending not to. She continues with a smile. Sawji, Sentaku, Liori, Nandemo, Makasekudasai. Lucy, wa, Ipan Kate, ni okeru, Oku no Kaji, wo, Kuronami, ni Konas koto ga dekimas. I'm sorry, but there's nothing we need from a robot in this family. I suggest that you look somewhere else for somewhere else. Uh, I suggest that you go look for somewhere else to stay. Ahem, uh -huh, she's not giving up. He's getting pissed. Well, fuck you, Dad. Oh, uh, this is not looking good. Meanwhile, Lucy continues to ramble on, completely oblivious to what is all about to happen. She's talking as if she's about to become my personal tutor. Just where did you get this piece of junk? Get it out of my sight! Shock, I didn't really want to shout because I'm pretty sure people are going to hear me, so I have to uh, tone it down a bit. Aww. I love how it, like it's it scared uh, Lucy too. His angry outburst is, is as sudden as it's intense. It catches Lucy off guard. She stumbles between backwards in alarm. No surprise here. I saw all of this coming from a while away. It's a present from a friend. I lie instinctively. If I honestly tell him that I found her in the trash, he'll definitely force me to take her back there. I'll just say that I got it from Miss Doctor Gears. And my father knows his manners. There's no way he'll make me throw away a present. Ha. <laughs> really. You haven't stopped being a troublemaker since you were little. What have I always told you? Robots are ruining society. Did you forget all about that? The odd part, the odd part is that he actually knows it. I mean, because he always, he, you know, he didn't, you know, you know, I'll just keep reading. Poor Lucy! Lucy, cheer up! You know, that that dad's an asshole. Just, say, just, just saying that right now. He doesn't care about shit. My father has always been like this. Robots are becoming increasingly more common. They're gradually making their way into our daily lives. But my parents consider them as intruders infiltrating human society. They're unable to catch up with the shifts in technology whilst they refuse to let go of their traditional ways. They simply refuse to coexist with robots. Thanks to that, I grew up hearing nothing but bad things about robots. But what's wrong about with one keeping around with the house? What's wrong, you ask? I've read that most families own androids anyways, nowadays. Why can't we just keep one around for convenience? I've clearly just added fuel to the fire. He doesn't even go home! That's what- doesn't he- didn't he already say that? Because he has work. So he just doesn't really go home a lot. Convenience? Think about the type of people that care about convenience. Convenience makes us lazy. And when we're lazy, our minds don't work properly. Convenience makes our minds weak. It's obvious how they'll live the rest of their lives. Without realizing that they're hopelessly lazy, they'll just end up living a meaningless existence. Fuck, say something, will ya? I've already lost account on how many times I've heard from this information. Today's lecture was variant B. It goes from A to Z, by the way. I'm so sick of this. I just wanted to wrap this conversation so I can leave this as soon as possible. Anyway, I've accepted it already, so we should keep it. I'm the one who's going to be using it, so why do you care? 
Yeah, faggot. And who's the one going to be paying for the electricity? Who taught you to be so selfish? I'm starting to reach family, but I hear my heart beat. Come on. I want to leave. Then I'll pay for it. I can get a part-time job. A job? You're going to get a job? You're going to work when you should be studying? You know, like, the thing about parents is, like, they think studying is always, like, the number one thing, and it's a big... I, I, I probably say that it isn't, really, because it it's it's more like... This guy's going extreme. Like, the father is going extremely extreme. Like, oh, man, you should be studying. What, you're breathing? Oh, you should be studying. That's what I think it is. <laughs> I think he's going overboard with the whole studying part of his, uh thing he's forcing so much stuff he's, he's forcing that word onto him like it's a necessity like seriously of course you should be studying but like you you shouldn't really how can i say you shouldn't really treat it as something as like a necessity yeah i, I don't know <laughs> i'm bad at explaining crap i just don't like this guy that's all like that's all i gotta say Yes. Do you even realize how important this phrase is as your life is? These years in high school could decide the rest of your future. With those perm with those wait, with whose permission are you planning to work? Kids like you should be studying. Just keep your mouth shut and study. Oh. Well I pay you back when I grow up, so just leave me alone, damn it! Scram in the tuck of my lungs. I love how Lucy's still in that sprite. His eyes widen in shock. That was to be expected. I've never raised my voice in front of my parents before. You can't do this. You can't do that. Then just what the heck do you expect me to do? I, I hate parents like those. I'm so furious that I can almost feel steam rising from my head. At the same time, my father's eyes quickly narrow and begin to burn with rage. What the hell was that? Was that a slap? Time slows down and I felt struggling process but with just what, ah, what had just happened. I stand in place, holding my sore cheeks as I stare at my father in shock. Not knowing what to do, Lucy is fidgeting nonstop. Just where did you learn to be so stubborn? I never raised you this way. You probably did if you fucking act like that. Shocked and humiliated, I can no longer calm my fear, fear, fiery soul. I turn around and stop towards my room. I pull Lucy along with me. Hesitating, Lucy eventually makes a short bow to my father and trails along. Behind me, I hear my father yelling. When I shut it all up, my blind range is nearly overpowering. Wow. Well then. Entering my room, I lock the door behind me. Just in case, you know, he just comes in and just slaps you again, you know, whatever. Or gives you a lecture, a variant C, you know, whatever. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he really is good. He really is on my room. What the hell? He's a oh, God, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, it's over. No! <laughs> no! Fuck, that's annoying. I'm not sure how many minutes have gone by. It feels like an eternity. Even if I block my ears, I can still sense the floor shaking. I curl up my body and wait for the moment to pass. The clock slowly ticks away. After a long while, I uncover my ears. The noises have stopped, and I finally begin to relax. As my head eventually clears up, I realize what I've done. Phew. Yeah, phew. Not another lecture. I'd finally lost control. I've yelled at my father for the first time in my life. It's been a while since the last time I was hit by my father. It was like a rupturing of a dam after so much pressure and strain. Thinking back, it's strange that we've never had any direct confrontation like this one. Our relationship was like an unstable bomb, but I'd always managed to prevent it from going off. But today was different. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Phew. Again. I try to slow down my breathing. Meanwhile, Lucy... Had a feeling. Oh no. Master? Lucy calls out to me cautiously. What is it? Oh no. 
Well, I just had a feeling. Is Lucy the only voice actor that they actually voice acted? It makes sense, because they didn't have one for Father, or for the engineer guy, or for Dr. Gears. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess Lucy's the only voice actor. I mean, she is kind of like the star of the show, so. I wonder what she means by alright. I mean, I got hit by my father, I yelled at my father, I fucking went to my room. But I know what she meant. So I give a small nod anyway. With, with, a, with a wet handkerchief from who knows where, Lucy wipes down my sweaty forehead. The fruity smell of her perfume is surprisingly calming. What is it? With no question mark. My face clearly becomes contorted with anger. What the heck? Are you also telling me I'm a bad person? Huh? Lucy shakes her head. You know, I think that's a bit hard if your parents aren't doing the same. You know, I go by the, you know, the golden rule. Uh, treat others the way you want to be treated, not like an asshole. Treat me like an asshole, I treat you like an asshole. That's fair, isn't it? The guy shouldn't be, really. He just doesn't really care about our family. Oh, you think I'm bad, huh? When you're, when you're the one telling me it's my fault entirely? I was the one hurt, and he was the one who hurt me. My head is aching, so just drop in and leave me alone. Lucy, who had been scrumming around, goes completely still. Both her eyes suddenly lose their color. After a while, she swings back to life. しかしマスター。メモリーチップに記録された通常の家庭問題を検索してみた結果、家庭不安を招くと思われる会話類型の中にマスターとお父様の間に起こったパターンと似た家庭が多数検出されました。What are you talking about? Don't need to get Shut up. Your explanations don't even make sense, and you're calling it logical? You wouldn't understand a thing anyway. What can you possibly tell from watching us just for five minutes? What did you exactly find out about us? How could you say something so ignorant without knowing anything about the past 18 years we spent together? This android tilts his head, looking confused. Answer this. How many minutes are in there in a the day? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> How many in a year? Holy fuck. And what about 18 years? All right, then. Uh, built in calculator? Uh, that, that's Android will really help with my uh, pre calculus uh, questions. As expected from a robot, our calculations are quick and accurate. That's right. Out of the f <laughs> nine. Uh, is it? 9,460,800 minutes I've spent with my father. You've only seen five. That's less than 0.0001% insignificant amount. It's my fault that you've had to witness something like this. But that man is always finding the smallest excuse to teach me things that only him, he himself believes. Think of it as throwing out an entire pan of pizza because a single burnt piece of pepperoni. Where's the logic in that? She's gonna look, her eyes lose her focus. She's gonna go in inside her memory and look for the logic. It's just like before. Could she be looking up something from her memory chip again? Or maybe she's doing a search online? She returns after a moment. I figured as much. Cause and effect. The universe, the universe operates on this principle. If a father neglects his son, and of course his son would neglect his father in return. Who's well, that a bigger fault here? Demo Master What? Going back to the pizza. Room. Pizza and allergy? Ooh. How much longer can I argue with this smiling carefree robot? I lie down on my bed while hugging my throbbing head. 
Then I let out one of my trademark phrases. This is why I hate robots. They're all so stupid. Lucy appears to be brooding over something. After a while, she finally speaks up again. Master, then why should I be the one apologizing? I'm not the bad guy here. Not gonna happen. Shouldn't the old guy be more mature and understanding? I'm a high school student. I do stuff on impulse. Do you get what I mean by that? <laughs> oh great, yeah, well, yeah, of course. Well, kind of exaggerated, but as long as she gets my point. Yeah. I'm one of those kids these days that the adults are always going on about. It's natural that I have trouble controlling my emotions, so I don't expect much from me. To be honest, I don't think that I'm way more mature than the other kids at my age. This is all re irrelevant though. I'm sure that I'm sure anyone would take their family matters very seriously. How do you know? Huh. <laughs> You've learned so much from meeting him for just a few minutes. You're really impressive, I tell you. She's all kind of information out of her fingertips. She's an online dictionary. Or online Google. Sources? What kind of sources? Wikipedia? Reddit? 4chan? Ignoring by outbursts, Lucy continues. A male leader? I mean, he's a male, alright? Yeah, stubborn? Yeah, that's, that's one. That's like a, literally the obvious thing. Assertive? I'm pretty sure that's also an obvious thing. Okay. And? <laughs> I already know this. Hmm. By the way, Hi? if you want me to make up with my father, that means I'll have to throw you out. He's not the type of person to make any compromises. Have you even realized this? <laughs> She's like, oh fuck. <gasps> I guess not. Don't ask me. Why don't you think before we talk next time? I shake my head. The reason behind this mess of a conversation is the fact that I'm talking to a robot. Sometimes I forget she's a robot in the first place, and sometimes it's reversed to where I end up liberally pointing out her flaws as a robot, and then everything in my head gets mixed up. This robot really knows how to stress people out. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've been gone for way too long. Uh, that was, uh... Oh, now the three laws of robotics. A robot may not injure a human being. A robot must obey orders. And the third one should, uh, a robot should protect his own life. Alright, yeah, I got that. It's shown so many times, I kind of like, I kind of know what it is now. May 11th. Doctor. Doctor. Alright. I'm gonna stop here. Hopefully I didn't go over 30 minutes, because if I did, I probably have to put this in two parts. Because I don't want to go over 30 minutes, because that's a lot. So, uh, no intro. See you guys later. Fuck it.